Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new here, welcome in. Today I'm taking a look at Skusta Klee's solo work. So my first ever introduction to Skusta Klee was actually in another reaction I did for Flo G, because he and Flo G collaborated on some of Flo G's solo work. If you guys want to check that reaction out, I will leave it down in the description box. But this time we are going to take a look at him and learn more about his background and check out a couple of his music videos and his songs and things like that. Because um, I know y'all have been requesting it. Thank you guys so much for the requests and leaving your suggestions. So all of the songs that I'm looking at today, I took from the comment sections and your requests. So uh, definitely keep them coming. Uh, and I'll maybe do a part two to this sometime in the future if you guys want to see more of my reactions to Skusta Klee. So first, let's take a look at um, his background to learn a little bit more about him. Okay, so a well-known musician in the hip-hop field, Skusta Klee is a native of Quezon City in the Philippines. He's a pioneer of alternative hip-hop and renowned for his distinctive approach to the genre, combining traditional rap with components of rock, pop, and electronic music. That's amazing. Um, that's, you know, a combination of a bunch of different genres that I personally like, so I'm really excited to hear this. Uh, okay, his lyrics are unfiltered, emotionally charged, and have a distinct flow. He's... Let's see, he addresses societal concerns in his music, including politics, inequality, and poverty. Um, and his work frequently incorporates joint efforts with other well-known Filipino musicians. Yeah, I can tell he collaborates with a lot of people. And I do know he um, is part of X Battalion that Flo G is also part of. Um, that is super interesting. Maybe I should um, take a look into them a little bit more because I looked them up after you guys were telling me in my comments last time for my Flo G reaction that they were both in the same group and it was just a collaboration of all different artists together in this one, you know, group. And I think that's amazing. I actually, you know, that was my first time hearing about X Battalion. So um, that's great. And I know that was like back in what, 2014 or 2016, something like that when they um, came about. So definitely before um, the P-pop that I know of now has taken off. But I, I feel like, you know, Filipino hip hop and Filipino rap has kind of been in the music scene for a while now. I just have not heard that much of it outside of the few that I've reacted to on this channel. Let's see his most popular songs. Um, Zebiana. Zebiana? Zebiana? Is that how you say that? Uh, one of his most, his best songs has received over 200 million YouTube views. Oh my gosh. Let's see. He, he frequently covers topics of love, heartbreak, and common hardships. Okay, that makes sense considering what I read earlier about that. Some of his latest songs, 2023. So he's definitely been coming out with a lot of things recently. Let's see, his most important collabs. Let's see, I'm not sure I recognize any of the artists that are in this. Okay, well, I mean, definitely these artists, I'm sure, are probably really big in the Philippines and I'm just not super familiar with the um, Filipino hip hop scene as of right now. But yeah, I bet he has a lot of fun collaborating with everybody. So he's well known for creating the Pinoy trap genre in the Philippines, interesting. Okay, so at the member, at the moment we have Skustakli, Floji, J. Rowe, J. R. O. A. Brando, M. C. Ren, and King Badger as part of the hip hop ensemble. Okay, very cool. So those are all the X Battalion members. Okay, so this is more of like his personal life and some other things. Okay, well, with that being said, I will read the rest of this later, guys. I'm just kind of skimming for right now to get the most of the main points here. Let's go on to the first thing I'm gonna check out, which is the audio for, or the lyric video rather, for Lagabog which is um, him featuring Ilist Morena, an artist that I have not heard of until now. So I'm excited to check these two out. Ooh. I'm liking this beat already. It's like bassy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm liking this already. I have heard this. People were doing, y'all, people were doing dance challenges to this on TikTok. It's so crazy how it's like, okay, I have heard this one before, at least this chorus part, because it's just been going so viral among like P pop artists and then even outside of that, you know, dancers from around the world and just people who wanted to participate in this. Oh my God. Sorry. Moment of revelation, you guys. Mm. 
Why is this my first time hearing her? Wow. Mm, this beat. Ooh. This is such a vibe. If I were a clubbing person and this came on in the club, that's it. Ooh. Oh, playlist. This is going on my playlist. ASAP. Like, this is just fun and like sexy and just. I don't know. It just like it just scratches that part of my brain. I don't know. Are we done? Huh? Huh? What? 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 That's it. It was three. It's a three minute and ten second or three minute fourteen second song. Whatever. And I'm still like, are we done? Hello. I did not want that to end. That was fun y'all oh my gosh like oh i don't know it's just that kind of like song that's begging for a dance challenge it's begging for choreo and i will look up after this if anybody has done choreo outside of tiktok of course because this is one of those songs where you can just kind of go free range on whatever you want to do like i don't know you can get so creative with it it's a good song that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> i feel like these compliments are not making sense bottom line love the song uh and illis morena did great as well okay so next this is angas this is scustically and Flo g of course but then back together again uh and produced by flip d so let's get right into this Ooh. Okay, it's giving post-apocalyptic. Okay, am I crazy or... I think that's Flo G in the orange, right? Flo G's orange outfit is kind of giving... You know the Michael Jackson's Thriller music video? Like that orange outfit? That and this like hazy, dark surrounding? Something about it is kind of giving Thriller a little bit. Which, I don't know. I, I just really love that. <laughs> Angas. Ooh, flamethrowers. Oh, here we go. Hey. You know, I am kind of curious. Where did they film this and how on earth, like, can you imagine them being like, hey, we just need a bunch of cars and a bunch of like buses and we're just going to torch all of them. Don't mind us. Or like, I don't know. The setup of this is really cool. It's creative. Ooh. Ooh. 
as always, Flow G sounds so good. The piano and like the strings. Wow. Hey. Okay. Hey. The fire makes for such cool lighting and the sparklers in the background, it makes for a really nice contrast of lighting. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, is it angas and not angas, like I'm saying? I feel like that's such a tiny detail, but I feel like they're saying it differently than I am. Angas, not angas with a hard G. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me overanalyzing, but... <laughs> I, this looks really fun to shoot, I'm gonna be honest. Standing on top of cars with your best friend with flamethrowers going off in the background. That looks fun. That looks fun, it does, really. And Roldan Ocampo, wait. I think that was the same. He directed, or she, um, I'm not sure who this person is, um, but um, this person directed their what did this person direct? Ingot and Deserve, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember seeing this person's name at the end of the credits for those. Ooh. Hey. The song is so dope. Like, I don't know. I feel like whenever you put Skustakli and Flo G together, you're always going to get something that's such a fun vibe. So... I don't know, just kind of easy to bounce to. Like, it just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, I, because hip hop is not generally a genre that I listen to a lot of. So when I do listen to it, I feel like I'm always really pleasantly surprised. Okay, last one. This has been really, really highly requested and it's 230 million views. Somebody commented um, that this was like the most viewed Filipino music video or like the most viewed Filipino hip-hop music video. I'm not sure which it is, but 230 million views. I mean, I can certainly believe that. So this is Dance With You, Skustakli featuring Yuri Dope, produced by Flip D. So let's get into this. That's a cool outfit, the layered necklaces. Ooh. Okay, moves. Wait, 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 go back to that. Ooh, it's giving Michael Jackson the hat and the this and like Hey. Okay. Scusta I see you. Yes. It is, it's, okay, guys, this is giving, like, the visuals of it, his outfits, the choreo and everything, it's giving, like, Michael Jackson-inspired fashion and, um, 
dance. But the sound of it, like the music itself, is kind of giving like Chris Brown and Usher and all that. Do you, do you guys agree with that? Am I crazy? Like, I don't know. Chris Brown and Usher were um, getting really, really big when I was like a kid. So I didn't listen to a lot of them at the time. Like I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> um, but as I got older, I listened to a little bit more of them. And this is kind of what I remember from back when they were really rising to the height of their popularity. It's this kind of similar sound, but I love it. It's again, such a fun vibe and a fun sound to it. And I love the inclusion of all these different artists in this particular music video, like all the dancers. And just like fat, yes, oh my God, you guys. I'm such a big Michael Jackson fan myself. I grew up on his music, um, but just the silhouette, especially the lighting, because Michael Jackson used a lot of that in some of his music videos and some of his performances where he would have the smoke and the lighting and give the silhouette effect. And I feel like he's bringing out all of those different references from these other artists, I'm assuming who inspired his music maybe, um, even though they were not necessarily like hip hop or artists like that, but I don't know. This is just kind of pulling at my brain a little bit. And I love the scene in the rain. That's really cool. Yes. These dancers are killing it. The spins are so satisfying. I'm gonna stop talking. This is Yuri Do, right? <laughs> yes, Flip, I see you. Yes. Oh, this dancer's eating. Yes. This looks like it was so fun to shoot. <laughs> Acoustically dance, by the way. I didn't know he could move like this. Hey! Imagine why this has 230 million views. This was fun. This song is so good. I think of all the ones that I've heard, all three of the ones I've heard from him so far, this is definitely my favorite. I don't know, this is definitely, this one definitely is more my taste. Um, but all three songs were great though, seriously. All of them had very, very different sounds too. Like Lagabog just had this I don't know, this is gonna sound so stupid. Spicy flavor where you could take it to the club, you could take it to ballroom dancing. I feel like you could just kind of do anything with it. It's pretty versatile, but it's just like sensual and fun and flirty and I love that. Angas is more of like a hard hitting, badass sort of thing. Of course, because he did it with Flo G, so definitely have to have that element to it. And then Dance With You is more of like, 
you know, like I said earlier, it's, it's, I feel like this one's leaning a little bit more toward the pop end of the spectrum for him. Um, you know, a lot of like Chris Brown or Usher kind of sounding things. Um, but I don't know. I just love that the music video really evoked that sort of nostalgic thing for me. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but yeah, thank you again so much for all your recommendations. Let me know your thoughts down below, um, or if you have a favorite Skusta Klee song, let me know what your favorite is. Um, and I will see you all in the next reaction. So until then, take care, guys. Bye!